Welcome to the Liberty Church Podcast, brought to you by Liberty Church in Lula, Georgia. Today's episode, we'll be looking at upcoming events and church activities going on for the next month. Now, here's Pastor Eric. Hey, Liberty family, Pastor Eric here. Welcome to the Liberty Church podcast. This is one of our monthly podcasts where we talk about the upcoming month and our events and our church calendar for things going on. And of course, we're right here at the end of May. So we're going to be looking at our June calendar and activities for coming up, getting into the summer months. And man, we really just looking at June. If I could name June something for our Liberty family, it would be one thing. And that's kind of a family focused month. We really want to challenge you as we've taken Wednesday nights off for the for the summertime with the school schedule to man, be intentional to do something a little extra with your family, whether it's a going on vacation to man, maybe it's having family game night at home. Maybe it's having some extra Bible time with your family, so, some family worship, or maybe it's going uh, to a, a spray ground somewhere with the kiddos, going to the pool. Uh, we want to challenge you, spend some intentional time this month with your family. Of course, we, we still have all our Sunday activities going on every single Sunday, breakfast at 830, our groups at 9 a.m. Really want to highly encourage you, if you've not been a part of our groups, to be a part. Uh, come be here on Sunday mornings and get connected with other believers. And then, of course, we worship at 1015. So, hey, not a whole lot on our church calendar for this month, which, like I said, hey, it's nice sometimes just to uh, slow down a bit. Let's let's focus, get re uh, man, just rejuvenated and ready to come back in when the fall gets here and, and go full speed. We never get to take time off as uh, as Christians, as believers, as followers of Jesus. But we know this: we, we can overserve ourselves sometime, and we can wear these things down. Our these things, our bodies, of course, uh, we can wear them down by not resting because God gave us the example of rest and taking a Sabbath. So really want to encourage you to to take some rest and relaxation time, uh, spend extra time in the Word of God, and do that as as we slow our church calendar down just a hair uh, for this month. So let's jump right in. So here we go, June the 4th, which is this coming Sunday. Of course, we got a couple things going on. Number one, we have our ownership class. So if you're new with us here at Liberty and you want to know more about what it looks like, we we call it ownership instead of membership because members have rights, owners have responsibility, and we want you to be a part of our family, not just to come and sit down and, and watch everybody else, but we want to find the place that God has called you to serve and for you to be a real part of what God's doing here at Liberty. So our ownership class is at 9 a.m. Uh, on Sunday morning during our group time. We do this once every few months for any new families that's with us. So if you got kiddos, they can go to their classes while you meet with me. And I'm just going to take that hour at nine from nine to 10 and just share with you a couple things. Number one, what you can expect from your church family here at Liberty. And then also, we're going to tell you what your church family expects from you when you come in and be a part, because together we are better. And we want everybody to come in, because we know this, right? When the body of Christ comes together and each part is working like it's supposed to, man, it is going to be so much more effective than when only certain parts are working. So, hey, if you're interested in that, I want to invite you to go to our website. There'll be a link down in the show notes where you can click and you can sign up for our ownership class. All I need to know is this, that you're coming. That way I'll make sure I have enough packets ready for you. So if that's it, and listen, this class is not a commitment to anything. It's just us giving you information. And then we want you to look through the information. We want you to pray. We want you to ask questions. And we want you to be where God wants you to be. We pray and hope that's at liberty. But we know that liberty uh, isn't for everybody. But if it is, man, we'd love for you to come and be a part. So if nothing else, just come, listen, and uh, and hear the information. Hear all about what liberty has to offer. And uh, we'd love for you to be a part of that this Sunday, June the 4th. Also, at June the 4th, right after our morning gathering, we'll be having a family meeting, some exciting days ahead here at Liberty. And we're just going to bring some stuff 
uh, before our family, a couple things for you to vote on and just uh, so we can start moving forward and just uh, man, can't wait to uh, see what God has in store for the future of Liberty. So don't forget about that family meeting right after our morning gathering. So as soon as we get done with our gathering, probably give about five minutes, you know, for anybody that needs to needs to go uh, a little field of fellowship. Then we'll go right into our family meeting, which won't be long. All right, so let's jump into the rest of the calendar. So June the 10th at 9 a.m. is our Men's Fast Discipleship. This will be our first one. We have moved it to Saturday mornings at 9 a.m. We're going to have breakfast together. We're going to get in God's Word together. But then we're also going to serve and teach together. So what's that look like? That's what the word fast is. It's an acrostic for we're going to fellowship. We're going to apply God's Word. We're going to serve together. And then we're going to teach. Uh, we're really challenging our men. Listen, we're wanting to have some projects uh, for our men to come alongside of our young men, our boys, no matter how old they are, to come along and, and start training and teaching them not only uh, what it looks like to be a man of God, but also teach them some skills that they might not be learning. And you as well, sir, might learn some skills. I know I will. Uh, there's a lot of things that I don't know. So we want to challenge all of our men, especially these first couple of months for June and July. We want to see what kind of investment we're going to have out of our men, uh, because we we our, our fear is that we would mention this and we'll have 15, 20 boys show up and have two men. Uh, and may God help us if that's the truth. But we really want to see because how many men we have willing to be engaged with these young men is, is going to, you know, kind of tell us what size projects that we can take on and try to teach these young men some projects. So men make plan to be here Saturday, June the 10th, 9 a.m. Like I said, we'll have breakfast together. Bring your sons. If there's some other young men in our church or just young men in your family that you'd love to bring, bring them and let them uh, just join us. We'll probably, this first one probably be from like nine and we'll try to get done around 11, 1130-ish. But we'll have a project to do with those boys, something small just to teach them something. But uh, we're excited about that. Then the next week on June the 16th for, for our women, Women of Purpose meeting, they'll be looking at James chapter four, 7 p.m. here at the Fellowship Hall for their monthly gathering. Then of course, that next Sunday, June 18th is Father's Day. So uh, we'll be here at the church, just right here like as usual and uh, celebrating, of course, our good, good father in heaven. And then we'll take time to recognize our fathers in the room that Sunday as well. So just want to remind you of that. Father's Day is the 18th. Then the 23rd and 24th is our two days to help serve in our food pantry. So the 23rd, if you can be here at 2 p.m. to help set up. I, I want to talk, just pause for a minute because a lot of people don't realize that we went to a different way that we're doing our food pantry now. Uh, before COVID, we had them come in and we'd have bags ready. We would uh, have a, a devotion time, maybe do some music every now and then. And then we would just tote bags of groceries out to folks' cars with them, pray with them. And, uh, man, it was always just a blessing. Well, then we know COVID hit, and we made our food pantry kind of like a drive through where they would come through. We'd put the food, trying to make, make as less contact because we know a lot of our, our food pa pantry patrons are, you know, some of them are high risk. Uh, for sickness and things. So we're trying our best to be good stewards. But now, since kind of, man, COVID has passed, we have brought it back inside, but we've done it differently. Now we allow them to come in and we have it kind of set up sort of like a grocery store where they get to go around and shop and, you know, and really look and get what they need, what their family will eat. And, and we're trying to be good, not only good stewards with the food that we purchase for this, but also we're wanting to really be a blessing to these families and give them, you know, something that they need, something that they can use, not just a bag full of stuff that maybe they can't use or maybe their family doesn't eat. And uh, so, but what we need, the reason we need more volunteers for that now is because now I mean, we're having people helping them shop. We're having people helping pack boxes, having people help tote it out having people pray and talk to them. Uh, we went back, we have time of devotions with them. So I really want to challenge you, church family, if you can come be a part of that, uh, one or the other, or both. If you can help come help set up at 2 p.m. on Friday the 23rd, that would be great. Or if you can come help serve on Saturday the 24th, being here at 8 a.m., Man, that will be such a blessing. I want to tell you, it'll be more of a blessing to you than it uh, and it may be to some of those folks that's here because God 
just blesses through that ministry. So come and be a part. Then also the last Wednesday night, June the 28th, uh, we're planning on having uh, our Liberty kids having a water night here at the church. Be looking for more information on that on times and uh, what's been going on. Miss Amanda will be communicating that in the weeks to come. So that's kind of it. Like I said, not a whole lot on the church calendar, but we want to challenge you uh, to be here at church on Sundays, to gather together as we have time of fellowship and encourage one another and equip one another. But then be intentional this month to take some of this time where we're not jam-packing our schedule. I think sometimes uh, us as church, we can get so much going on that, man, we burn people out from they don't get to spend time with their families. We know everybody's busy with jobs and things like that. So, hey, take this time where we're trying to pull back a little bit on our church calendar uh, to really give you an opportunity to spend time with your family. And saying that, there's something I didn't mention. I know some of you was done calling me out because I didn't mention it, but June the 11th, June the 11th, uh, we're going to be having our Liberty Church Family Fun Day. We're going to be going to Laurel Park in Gainesville, where there's just, man, so much to do there. And uh, there's spray grounds for the Littles 11 and under where they can go out and play in the water. Uh, we're going to have a kickball tournament. We're going to have a cornhole tournament. If you got some other games, like yard games you want to bring, bring those. The church is going to provide the meal uh, for that Sunday afternoon. So we'll have our church gathering right here in our gathering space. And then uh, we'll give you time to go home, change clothes. And then we're going to plan on meeting over there at one o'clock. Like I said, the, the church is going to provide a meal if you can. If you cannot, no problem. But if you can, bring a dessert or a drink or both just to share. And uh, we're just going to have an afternoon, all afternoon, of just spending time with our church family, having some fun, having fellowship. Uh, of course, they've got tennis courts. They've got a, a volleyball court there. So if you want to bring those those things that you and your family like to go play, there's a, a mile-long walking trail that goes around the whole campus. Uh, so So much to do there. But bring you a, a comfortable chair. Hey, if you play an instrument, bring it along with you. You never know. We might break out into an evening uh, of worship sometime and just have some outdoor worship with whoever's there. So don't forget about that. June Sunday, June the 11th, 1 p.m., Laurel Park in Gainesville. We hope that you'll make plans. Just clear out your whole evening calendar. Come spend time not only with your family, your personal family, but come spend time with your church family. Maybe a bit, take be an opportunity for you meet some of those folks that you see on Sunday mornings that you haven't got to connect with. Here's a great opportunity for you just to uh, spend some time with them, have some fun, have some fellowship, have some food. And, uh, man, we're just praying that God gets glory out of it. So, all right, church family, I love you so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. And uh, we hope to see you this coming Sunday as we gather together to worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. So, church family, as I say often, keep fighting, win today, and as always, go light it up for the King. God bless. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Liberty Church Podcast. Please remember to subscribe and follow the Liberty Church Podcast on your podcast listening platform so you don't miss any sermons, announcements, interviews, or anything that we put out through this platform. God bless. Have a great day. And as always, go light it up for the King.